Uh, hello viewer this is um, uh, one more video on the stock price analysis uh, this is extension of the one of the video which already have published um, related to the historical price how to fetch the historical price um, and uh, I will I will share the link you can look into that video that for more detail so I'm using the same code and then uh, using that code uh, I'm trying to show that one what are the uh, further analysis we can do so in this video I'm going to show you that how um, what kind of visualization and graph we can plot actually uh, I will start with even a simple uh, graph that is a candlestick representation so let us start uh, you can see that one this is uh, this is how a stock price uh, graph look like when we plot uh, the price of the stock versus time if you open any stock price uh, it has a lot of variations as per the uh, when, when the stock price change because uh, because of the uh, market fluctuation so um, there are so many ways that we can do the analysis but actually uh, if you see that one this stock price variation has a couple of the things which is very important that uh, this is basically change with uh, variation of the time and uh, if you see that one uh, in a one day if you want to take a day uh, analysis then in one day uh, the stock price uh, open the stock open with some price and there is a closing price and in this opening and closing price there is a two more things comes which is very important that is highest price and lowest price so for example uh, i mean four important things are there open price close price highest price and lowest price so let us see a little bit more detail about that one if you see that one if for example i'm just putting a day one this is the data this is the stock price showing for the day one so in day one maybe the opening price is here i'm showing this arrow then price goes to the here then little bit come down then come down come down and then again go up and this is the closing price when the stock close for that day so the opening price particularly if in this day you can see that one there is a highest price and there is a lowest price and this is the uh, closing price now uh, every day this happened okay you can see that one there's some some opening price highest price closing and lowest price okay now if per day i we want to basically visualize this uh, that how uh, i can just see that one because this this gives a very important statistics that how uh, we can see that when the market is basically fluctuating so if we try to plot this one like this opening price highest price lowest price for the day one this looks very cumbersome it is not very good to do uh, analysis and if there is a for example if you are taking a three four months five months six months and so many days of the data this is not going to help okay this is a very a very cumbersome so this is a candlestick representation come here so what is the candlestick representation the candlestick representation look like this one so for a particular day this is the candle okay this there is the body of the candle and there is a wicks top and bottom you can see that one two wicks are there actually so the body actually the wick stop is basically highest price the body from where it is start it is opening price and the body where it ends it is a closing price and the body which is uh, the, the wicks which is end here that is the lowest price so this whole candle represent the four important uh, data uh, in a just one line okay and this is very helpful so it looks like uh, some more things are there actually if you see that when i presented here two colors of the candle one is a red and another is a green see, the only difference between this red and green is the opening price is uh, uh, if you see that one the opening price and closing price here in the red and closing price and opening price here so if opening price is high and closing price is low this means that market went down that for example opening price was 100 and then closing price is uh, for example 80 this market tend to, even though that is the highest and lowest price but at least since the closing price is low so this means that the market was not good good and that is called a, a bearish stock because the curve goes down actually and this is the reason such candle is represented in the red color and green is you can understand if the closing price is high and opening price is um, low this means that the stock is open at the 50 rupees but at the end of the day when the market closes that time it was like you can say that one uh, 80 90 whatever 
okay so this means such um, uh, stock is called bullish so for the bearish stock the candlestick is red for the bullish stock the candlestick is uh, green and the difference is uh, is opening and closing price not based on the highest and lowest price now if you see that one, if you want to plot a uh, candlestick what we need for example for a one month two month whatever uh, if you want to plot for every day we need this data for every day we need opening price closing price day high and day low okay so let us see that one, how we can do that now we will take some uh, stock and then based on that we will try to plot the graph and uh, we will uh, my intention is here to plot the graph like this um, so you can see that one um, like first i will i will plot the candlestick then in this second i will plot plot uh, the average of the high and low that what is the middle point and then uh, highest of the day and lowest of the day so this four graph i will plot uh, so that um, and, and that is in the python and we can see that one um, how the market fluctuation has happened and maybe you can do some analysis so let us proceed towards the code that how we can achieve it so this is my jupyter lab notebook and uh, uh, i have already written a code i will go through the code and i will explain you uh, like i mentioned that one this code is based on the one of my previous video to fetch the historical price i will give the link you can access uh, that is only this piece of the code i have reused so that you can go to that video and you can see in the detail uh, i am importing some libraries um, date and time for the uh, date and time related uh, calculation and panda for the analytics purpose property for the graph uh, visualization for the data so here the variable i have taken stock code and i have going to i'm going to print the graph for the state bank of india you can change this code here and it will change everything automatically so uh, when we talk about the historical price when i was talking i was showing the slide actually then we need that uh, for example one month two month what were the data then we need a start date and end date so uh, this date is required in a very particular format uh, because uh, if you try to fetch the historical price uh, you need to form the url and i request again to learn more about that when you watch the previous video so here you can update the uh, the, the uh, date uh, year and next one is uh, uh, month and this is the date so this is the date i'm giving that one the 3rd january 2022 and here um, it is 3rd january 3rd june uh, 2022 start and end it you can change it and then we need to form this url so you can see that when i have taken the url from the um, uh, yahoo website that is i'm using uh, yahoo finance for the uh, fetching the historical price i will show you that one how this has happened so let me first press shift enter and execute the code that is done again i'm pressing shift enter and you can see that one um we are using this date and time is basically in the epoch format you can see that it is converting to some very particular format that you can learn in my previous video and we i need to form actually this um, url so you can see that one i'm using a yahoo finance to query the data and this is the stock price uh, stock code which i have given here and then period is from and to and one more things are there actually the interval is the one day uh, one day you can see that one if you give a one week or something it will give it one per week data but i'm giving a one day so this means that one uh, i will get the data per week and this is the uh, this is the range actually so if you click this one if you download a csv file and you can just see this is the data and i was showing you in the slide that when we need a date open high open low close and there's some additional information for cutting coming we will just remove it okay so let's close it so we got this url and then what i'm going to do that one i'm going to use this url and find already pd.read csv so what it will do that from the csv which i was showing you the whole csv will come to the stock data data frame that is the panda format okay so if i click shift enter uh, it will come 
in that one let us print that uh, stock data so print stock so you can see that when this data is coming in the date open high low close <laughs> it is in close and volume now the thing is um, uh, this is exactly the same data which I was showing you showing you in the Excel sheet. Okay, now uh, I don't want additional columns, this last two columns, so I will just use this uh, stock data to drop the panda function to drop these two columns. Axis is equal to one means column wise. So I will click here and then I will just uh, show you this data also so that you have a proper visualization tf dot right and you can see that when in this data or data frame uh, there is uh, no uh, these two columns only important data what we need it is here and this is stock data i just dumped to the another data frame and where i stored all the necessary data okay so we got the data now here is the main code to plot the graph so like i mentioned to you in the slide uh, my intention is to plot this four graphs okay so first thing is um, when we plot four graphs this means that when these are the there is a virtually a single graph and then these are the four subplot inside that one so how many rows and how many columns are there that we need to decide first so it is like a matrix you can see that one it has a two rows and two columns so that we need to define and you can see that one uh, figure is the stands we are creating that one where row is equal to two columns two and i am giving a subtitle so four graphs you are writing in first graph title is candlestick like i was showing you candlestick average high and low highest lowest etc so see these are the um, title okay so it will create a four subplot and with the four subtitle candlestick average high low average of high low highest of the day and lowest of the day and then we need to add the graph in each subplot so you see that one row one column one row one column one what is this this is the first one this is the row one column one okay so row one column one i want to plot candlestick okay so go is the uh, we have taken the method from here um, uh, graph object so you can see that when uh, go dot candlestick is the graph which we have chosen like that you can choose a scatter or any other uh, so many graphs are there actually so what i'm going to do that one figure the subplot what i have created object in that i'm going to add traces for the candlestick first in the row one and column one so first uh, graph will be subgraph will be candlestick graph where on the x axis x is equal to df date df is data frame this is the data frame df and date will come okay and then for the rest of the candlestick open high low and close we have taken df open you can see that one these are the column df high df low df close and the graph will the the um, plotly will uh, automatically adjust this one and that we are going to press in the row one and column one and for each this graph i have given uh, height is equal to 400 width is equal to 400 actually it is not required i think because we are adding there so just let us remove it from here okay and See that one in the second, I'm adding another graph, and in that graph, I'm again on the x axis, I'm going to plot the date, and on the y axis, average of high and low. So you can see that one x axis, df date, and y is equal to I have taken average df high plus df low divided by 2, that is average. And where it is going, it is row is equal to 1, column is equal to 2. Definitely, you can see from here, this is a row, and column is equal to 2. So this is the row one column two. It will plot here. The next graph is simple. I am see this is a scatter graph. I was showing you that one, like candlestick scatter. You can plot, and then um, you can just add another graph, which is again x-axis date and y-axis the high price, and another one is x-axis date and y-axis the low uh, lowest price. 
and then we have to update the whole layout uh, certain parameters are there this is the height and width of the graph you can adjust it and this is the title uh, on the top of the graph which i want to print as a stock quote so let us press shift to key and see it is visible here candlestick code stock code SPIN which is coming from here candlestick average high and low highest of the day lowest of the day this is coming from the here and then this data is now you can see that it is a bit, bit very garbage it is very because it is very dense uh, so let us try to print the same thing uh, with some smaller data so that we can visualize so what i'm going to do that one uh, i'm going to take see it is from first january i have to take from the fifth that is may to june so it will be very less and you can see that this is better so like i was showing you in the graph actually uh, this is the body you can see that red and green and this opening closing highest closed price let us go back and you can see that one uh, if you just hover the mouse here you can see that one it is showing open price is 469.45 and lowest price closing price is 445 Four for four. So this means opening is high and closing is low. This is, means it is bearish, and this is the reason this is a red color. And green, if you go that one candle, you can see that one open is four for five and low closing is uh, open is four for five and closing is also same. Showing here, let us go another one. You can see that one open is four five eight dot three and close is four six seven dot three. This means that one market went up while it is closing. So this is the reason it is green. So everywhere you can hover and you can see that one. This is a, this is a graph for candlestick. And uh, this is the basically average of high and low. You can see that in 458, 450. You go here, highest of the day, you can see that one. How the fluctuation is happening every day. And this is the lowest of the day. Okay. So this is a way that you can visualize this one. Uh, and you can just... See that one how so the HDFC is a candlestick for the HDFC. So, thank you. This is a very uh, quick video I wanted to show you that one because uh, just one graph candlestick I wanted to show. So, in future, I'm going to publish more videos, more visualization content so that uh, you, can, you can start analyzing the content from the very beginning to the uh, advanced level. And advanced level content i will step by step i will keep preparing and i will be publishing i don't want to basically jump in the time series and all the things uh, mlcd graphs and all the things so that it should not be a confusing uh, so this is the reason i'm publishing quite simple and definitely i will go to the advance thank you very much